Hey, this is Jeremy with DTFSuperstore.com. I'm here today with our dual platen heat press. This heat press is gonna increase your productivity, press more shirts faster, and be more efficient and accurate with your transfer placement on your garment. When connecting the air hose, you'll need fitting to go to the air compressor to a hose that has a five millimeter interior diameter. The blank end here will plug into the back of the unit this collar goes over the hose. Might be a little bit of a tight fit. Make sure you have a little bit of the hose sticking out the end. Slip it over the small barb on the end. Slide the collar up and then tighten it down. It's gonna use a 13 millimeter wrench to tighten that down. Then you're gonna take this connector and hook it up to your air compressor. You need a 1.5 horsepower air compressor with an eight gallon tank at a minimum. Set your air compressor to approximately 80 PSI. To make fine adjustments to the air pressure, pull up on this knob. Clockwise increases the air pressure. Counterclockwise decreases the air pressure. This is the best spot to make finite adjustments to your air pressure. When you're ready, push it down to lock it. When setting up the lasers, try to center them over the top of the platen. When focusing the laser beam, start out by twisting the focus ring on the front of the light clockwise until it's tightened down. Then, while watching it on the platen, turn it counterclockwise till the light begins to focus. You'll see a crosshair that will spin and it will become more and more in focus. Once you have a perfectly focused line, stop there. If you continue to turn it counterclockwise, it will go out of focus again. Do that with both lasers. Now you can aim the lasers by loosening the wing nut on the mount and line up your laser and easily see where you can put your artwork on your garment for consistent results every time. If you're finding this video helpful, do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Speaking of buttons, let's take a look at the menu. To power on the heat press, just click the switch here on the top. Assure your emergency stop is turned to the right and disengaged. If it is engaged, as you turn to the right, you'll hear it pop back up. Here we've got our settings. Click this button with kind of the pill shape on it to select which setting you would like to change. So first we're gonna set our temperature at 300 degrees. And we're gonna set our time at 15 seconds. We can adjust that with the arrows up and down. If your temperature is set substantially below the temperature of the heating plate, you will see this alarm indicator right here. To deactivate the automatic press function, press this silver button in here, and when the switch activates, it won't depress the heat plate. This heat press is automatic. There's a small switch that's back here that when it makes contact with the pillar here on the side, it lets it know it's time to put it down. So you just with the handle, slide over. And it'll count down the seconds that you've set. And automatically raise back up. And while you're pressing the other side, you can set your garment up, put your transfer down, Use the laser guides to align your transfer to make sure every single shirt is accurate. This press is available on our website, dtfsuperstore.com. There is a link in the description below. If you have any questions about this machine, feel free to put them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. If you're interested in seeing more training, how-to videos, and all things DTF, click subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever we release a new video. Thanks for watching.